Sveiki, tęsdamas pokalbių ir susitikimų ciklą. Noriu šiandien pakalbinti Vila Braudirį, žinote, žmogus žinomas dėl Magnitskio sąrašo. Tai yra tas, ar sakyčiau, netgi politikas, kuris stengiasi, kad Sergėjus Magnitskis, kuris buvo nužudytas Maskvos kalėjime, būtų ne tik atišteisintas, bet būtų nubausti tie, kurie kaltėja. Ir žinoma, mes bandome daryti viską, kad Magnitskio sąrašas būtų priimtas Europos Sąjungoje. Pasinaudosiu šitą progą ir paklausiu Bilo keletą klausimų. Bil, pleasure to have you in the European Parliament. Great to be here. Already for eight and a half years, I mean, since Sergei Magnitsky's death, I mean, you are constantly fighting and trying, I mean, to bring truth on the surface, I mean, to find those responsible, I mean, brought to the court. I mean, how do you assess the situation for the time of being? What the policy line of the European Union towards the Magnitsky list? Well, on one hand, we've had a huge success. Um, it's been uh, it's been now, as you said, eight and a half years, and we have six countries that have the Magnitsky Act. It um, uh, started with the United States in 2012. Uh, then we have uh, Estonia, um, uh, the United Kingdom, uh, Canada, Lithuania, and Latvia. So the three, the, your three, the, 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 your Baltic Pleasure. neighbors. Um, having said that, um, here in the European, the, the heart of Europe, um, it's a much more complicated story. You have countries that are fully um, uh, supporting Russia, like Cyprus, um, um, I think it's Italy to a certain extent, and other, other things like that. And so it's not a, it's not a clean um, mm. conversation here in, in Brussels because there's, there, there's um, in, in, in some countries it's, it's black and white, good versus evil. Here it's not so, so straightforward. Well, tell me, uh, there are many talks and attempts to stop uh, corrupted authoritarian regime of uh, Mr. Putin. He is going to be re-elected for the fourth time. I mean, what the advice to the European po uh, politicians would be from your side, I mean, in order to tackle uh, this corrupted regime in a better way? Well, the first thing I would tell uh, European politicians, and I'll tell you as a European politician, um, and I'll tell everybody else, um, what one should not use the word election um, to describe what's going on in Russia. It's not an election. It is not. It's not an election. Three years ago today, they killed Boris Nemtsov. Um, they, they put uh, Alexei Navalny's brother in prison and put him under criminal investigation. Gary Kasparov has been exiled. Anybody who, who is a potential competitor um, can't compete. So it's not an election. Um, but what I will say is that how do you deal with people like this who are basically cheating their own country? And the answer is, and, and we found the answer, which is, to, to, instead of sanctioning Russia, I don't think that Russians should be sanctioned. The Russian people haven't done anything wrong. It's sanction the individual Russians. Politicians. The politicians yeah. and the crooks who are stealing the country from, from their citizens. And what I would suggest is this is, what, this is what the Magnitsky Act is all about, which is surgically targeted sanctions against bad guys in the Russian government. It, it infuriates Putin. It infuriates the bad guys. Um, uh, but it doesn't touch the Russian citizens who have done nothing wrong. All, all they've done is been, been, lived in an occupied country. Well, Bill, at this position, at this time, uh, I thank you for your fight against corruption and uh, corrupted politicians in, in many countries because they are interlinked. And I wish you all the, all the best. I mean, it might take time, but uh, truth will prevail. Thank you. Thank you, Bill.